Hello everybody, Shinigami Psycho here. We are back for some more of The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. We're getting really close to the end now. Uh, we're back on Skellige looking for the Sunstone, which apparently is something that will help us draw the King of the Wild Hunt into this world so that we can defeat him. Um, and we're running around looking for information, and this guy apparently has information. What's going on with my camera? So, we're gonna go talk to him right after I loot his loot chest. Not now. I took your gloves. Hope you don't mind. I mean, I'm probably Watching not gonna wear Northgard's them. Fleet. fleet? Oh, hey, they but they're mine now. Something. Nay, I've more important matters on my mind. By my calculations, today's the day Gavorg, the legendary white whale, will swim the waters of Skellige. White whale? Been waiting for this my whole life. Okay. Are you sure your name's not Ahab? What's this what whale white whale? About? He's to appear when specters descend from the heavens into the waves. The serpent wakes the sea's wrath, and an icy monster devours an isle. Be the first bard to compose a ballad about him. Legends don't have to oh, mention you're a bard. the curse of the Black Sun, do they? Black Sun? What are you on about? Never mind. Let's watch for Gevorg together, and you can tell me what you know about any elven ruins in Skellige. I'd be interested to see a great white whale in this game that does not appear to have whales. Heard of some cavern no one's been able to enter? Good thing, too. Elsewise, they'd have plundered it long ago like all the others. There it is. Avon. What? I... Uh, just wanted to assure you I only want to look around the cavern. It's research. Research? Uh. Uh. Writing an adventure novel, gathering material. I don't for know. It. Mean to write up the coming of the White Fleet? Try my dear. Mayhaps you could use my translation of the Song of Gilban and Dillion. Gladly, gladly. So where's this cavern? I Got hate to timers. East from Kertrolda. Caverns in a cove, only accessible from the sea. So long, and good luck with the White Whale. It'll show today. I'm sure of it. It just did. And I tried to tell you. What? Whoa, what's going on with my mouse? Okay. Quick fix here. There we go. No? That didn't work? Oh, crap. Yep, there's my recording software. Click. And my screen keeps blinking every time I do that. Thankfully, I know for a fact that's my monitor and not the game itself. What is go- Why is my mouse on screen? Oh my god, that is going to drive me insane. Okay, we have to go talk to Yennefer. Why? Why- Why- Um... I thought we were going to a cave. Alright, where is Yennefer and how hard is it going to be to find her? Because I also have to go... somewhere else? Wait, what? I had two locations. One of them was up here. And... Okay, I guess that's... Sure. We convinced him to tell us where it is, and now it just wants us to go talk to Yennefer. No, I'd rather do this first. So, we're gonna... Under cover of darkness. Oh. Oh, that could be a problem. Maybe. Oh, it's actually not that far away. So, if I come up here, we can just teleport over here. And then I just gotta wait till nightfall. Alright. 
So before we go talk to Yennefer, let's go see what we can do about getting Fringilla out of the bowels of the Emperor's flagship. Because apparently Emperor Amir is here in Skellige. For God only knows what reason. And Frangilla Vigo has been, I guess, uh, accused of treason. And is being held prisoner on the boat. So fine, let's let's go. What I don't understand is why it what like w this whole mission, this entire game, has been because the emperor sent us on this mission. So like we found Siri, but we still have to protect her. Why can't we just go talk to the emperor and say, hey, th this is what we're doing. It's important to keep Siri safe, but we need Fringilla to do it. Is there anything I can do to convince you to let her go so that we can do the thing to protect your daughter? Like, why is that not even an option? No, it's just sneak aboard and commit high crimes against the new empire because reasons. To make any, like, I love this game. This game is phenomenal. In fact, I'm planning on doing a replay of it as soon as I'm done. I want to play it again. Can we back the boat up, please? Okay. Like, yeah, I, I already want to play it ag uh, again and see what other kinds of decisions I, I can make. Because I know there's a lot of them. And, um, so yeah, like, not knocking the game at all, it's amazing, but there are definitely a few creative decisions that are like, why? You don't, this does not exactly make sense in the slow, why can I not turn the boat around? I would like to turn the boat around. It, this this should not be so difficult. Turn the boat around. We're just gonna kind of sail out there to the fleet and then meditate until it's dark and then take play play things by ear. Be easier to or, sneak on board oh. after dark. Oh, okay. Ah, there's why why are they shooting me? No. This 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 is not I'm an ally, you ass hats. Reverse. 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 Why am I being attacked when I am an ally? Of sorts. I mean, yeah, I'm not, an, like, the best of allies, but still. I can't meditate on a boat, because of course I can't meditate on a boat. <sighs> I just want to complete the quest. There. I'm on land. No, stop trying to fight. How am I still in combat? Oh, it's not that I can't meditate on a boat. It's I can't meditate while in combat. And I... I'm not in combat. I am not in combat. First, my mouse doesn't want to leave my screen. And now I can't meditate because it says I'm in combat. Ugh. There. Is that late enough? Now where'd I leave my boat? Can I even take a boat? I don't think I can take a boat. Something tells me if I try and take the boat, they're just gonna keep shooting at me. 
Of course, getting on the boat would be nice, too. Um, and where the... Oh, my God, why? What happened to my crossbow? Why is it not equipped? Oh, wait, you know what? While we're in here, uh, ex... Cannot do that right now. Uh, any, I, any reason why? God, get on the boat! Why is everything going wrong right now? Like, holy crap! There. Is that it for the echidnas? Oh no, there's more. Of course there's more. Alright, looks like I've got to sneak under the lights. Sink the boat! Shoot! Wait, Harley. Yep. I'm a. Damn it! Oh, for crying out, let me in the water. Jump, you moron! Lose it, Will! Oh, my God. Oh. Okay, and what exactly is attacking me? Return to your stations. It started acting there like I was being attacked by drowners, but there's nothing. Okay. It hasn't completely gone foobar yet, so... I can calm down. Shoot him! Okay. Keep him away from the ship! Oh, good grief. He's hidden somewhere! Okay, I need to breathe. Emperor's orders! Stand down! Now you'll stand down? How do I get on board? I hate you guys so much right now. Okay, use. See? Couldn't we have done this from the beginning? Okay, let me get my mouse off screen. Which up? Easy. Well, wasn't surprised. Warm welcome. Thank you, Your Majesty. You should have come with my daughter. Your welcome would have been different. Where is she? Nearby. Close. Close, White Wolf, is what you are to decapitation. You're insolent because you believe I cannot afford to hurt you. And you're right. Yet that will change one day, when you are no longer indispensable, but disposable. But enough Yeah, I don't that. see that day coming. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. What do you want? Fringilla Vigo. Been told you promised Yennefer you'd free her. I can see. I know you're a busy man. So here's a letter. Ought to refresh your memory about the Lodge. Even Yennefer's humblest requests seem like threats. I've That's because they that are. About her. Very well, so be it. You're really ready to forgive them that easily. Truly prepared to forgive them? Amnesty in exchange for help? I'm prepared to abide by the agreement I made with Yennefer. 
Hey, look, I lost my internet. my question, nor must I. All right. Time I was on my way. At last, a point we agree on. Guards, bring me Fringilla Vigo. You may remove her dimeritian shackles. I want to know how she ended up in his custody like that in the first no place. No introductions are necessary. Farewell. Definitely not the Fringilla I'm used to seeing. Fringilla. Been a while. The other sorceresses, they're on Ginvale near Ard Skellig. We could take a boat. I'm sick to death of boats. Portals. And I despise teleports, but have it your way. Let's go. There. See? And that should have taken me right to Yennefer, I hope. Which is where I want to be anyways. So, not a complete waste of my time. Fingers crossed. Please? As always. Come now, we need none of that. Fringilla, we must speak. Oh my. Perhaps you should talk to him after all. What would be the point? Surely none now. And later? Oh, put the Don't sword away. Your father out just because he's the world's richest and most powerful authoritarian rotter, unworthy of even one inch of trust. Actually, of all people, I believe you can trust him. Perhaps you even should. What about the dictatorial rotter part? Something to get used to. I mean... Yeah, I mean, it, it's a monarchy. You're gonna expect that one guy's gonna hold all the power, but... I don't know, people in Nilfgaard seem to be happy, and there seems to be, you know... Diversity? People are allowed to be themselves as long as you make you know who is in charge. It's not the best system of government, but it's better than what they've got right now. All right, Yen, we need to talk about the Sunstone. Going somewhere. Siri says there's a site in Skellige we must examine. Avalox clearly hiding something from us. Earlier, when we were in the Isles together. Avalach mentioned a laboratory. At one point, he wished to teleport there, to retrieve something, and he refused to take me with him. It was all very strange. Sufficiently suspicious, don't you think? Um, I mean, that's just kind of who he is. So what? Want to just sneak in and root around? Exactly. Coming with? Fine. Where is it? On a small isle between Undvik and Spikerog. Not exactly on our way. Just found out the sunstones on Ard Skellig. Cavern along the coast that we can only access from the sea. Gonna need some real magic to get in, too. Go find this laboratory. I'll explore Ard Skellig. You can join me later. Philippa, your eyesight. Only just recovered and magically simulated. Didn't you say you'd need some time to get accustomed? Did I? Okay. Oh, I'd forgotten how irritating she can be. Come, Siri. Okay. You Wait, what's going on? Oh, I should probably go talk to him. Travel to the island where Avalox Laboratory is located. Does that mean I shouldn't go talk to him? It's kind of looked like he's a bit uneasy. Alright, well, where is my nearest signpost then? And let's look at my quests really quick. Um, meet Philippa. Okay, no. Travel to the... Yeah. I'm gonna do that first, and then we'll worry about the sunstone, I guess. 
I want to make sure that we do as much as possible. I don't want to leave anything behind. Uh, so, where... Oh, God. Okay. Caratrold Harbor. And we're headed way the hell over here. The Pally Gap Coast. Really glad I ran around and did all that exploration earlier in the game. When I first got here. I didn't get everything, but I think pretty much everything I miss is just, like, secret locations with extra treasure and stuff. Which might in and of itself be worth exploring, but... Eh, time being what it is. I have... So many other things on my plate right now. Like, YouTube-wise, that... Eh, just save myself the time. Okay. I'll sh kind of sort of shut up now. And we'll get on with the game. Ah, oh, so much for my fast loading times from previous recordings. It's been about a day since the last episode was uh, done. Oh, having my mouse on screen is so annoying. The entrance is very well protected. I believe we'll find something interesting inside. How will you lift the barrier? Atlan Kirk's inclusion should do the trick. Remember the spell? I remember you teaching me. And to think I thought you an overbearing cold shrew at the time. Now, now. This is no time to get soppy. <laughs> yeah, the only way to fix this issue, unfortunately, is to stop the game and restart. And I just... Eh, oh... Oh, this is not going to end well. What? Why do I have to talk? Why can't we just do? So, any incriminating letters? Closets full of skeletons? We've not even opened the door yet. It's a highly complex magic barrier. Let's try. Yepa Ligon! That's a no? We've awoken a century. I'll take care of you. Gee, how did I guess this was going to happen? Now. Oh, come on. Nope. Yeah, he's a big guy. There we go. Next, because you know it's not going to stop with just one, not when there's two of them here. Come on, it's your turn. Really? Okay, fine, prove me. What the fuck? you please fucking stop with all the bullshit games? My computer is really starting to piss me off. The king of the wild hunt sailed aboard the Nagel Fair, a giant longship that traveled between worlds. As Gels, the witch, the Witcher set out to find the Sunstone, an artifact needed to draw Aroden into a trap.
Okay then, so apparently my computer is deciding to have a mental breakdown right now. And things are not going the way that they are supposed to. But on the bright side, I was able to fix the mouse on screen issue. So hey. Pretty cozy. Silver Doesn't lining. Much like a lab at all. That proves nothing. We must look around. It's a bit low, isn't it? Rummaging through his papers. You wish to come, my dear. Portrait of Siri, I think. No. That's not me. Where's the scar? It's definitely Oh, you. it's you. Hmm. <laughs> really captured you. Sure, Avalok's only interested in you for your magic abilities. <laughs> Very funny. Not really a joke. I mean, it's kind of a joke. Why? Stop it. Ugh. It's not the computer, it's my controller. Look at what? You tell me to have a look around, and then you're like, oh, over here. No, over there. Let me do the looking, please. It seems someone is literally just here. It's what I'm good at. Uh, an assistant, maybe? Avalax assistant, maybe? No. Somehow, it doesn't seem like Avalok to have one. Hmm. A distillate. Well, it couldn't have been him. Smells like... Verbena. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha uh -huh what? No, nothing. Sometimes you really get on my nerves, you know. Herbs. Not very incriminating. Wait. We've not examined the entire laboratory yet. So what exactly is it are, that you're hinting at? What are we looking for? Uh, no, put the sword away. Where Where's my walk button? What happened to my walk button? I know I have one. Oh, good grief. Oh. Well, never mind. Yen. Well, now. That looks like a family tree of some kind. The line of Lara Doran, perhaps? Genealogical chart of the Enhenikir, the Elder Blood, from Lara Doran. To me. Ha ha! You never showed me the full version. I had no idea Viedmont of Eden was an ancestor. Was he the one who punished his daughters with a hot iron? Or the one who had his own father's eyes gouged out? Him of the daughters. My, even I'd never seen the full version. Seems Avalark has analyzed all the paths of Lara's gene, even those we thought extinct. Okay. And what can we learn from it? He's only analyzing? Really believe that? If he's anything like our mages, I seriously doubt he's standing back and observing how Lara's descendants are doing. I don't think we'll ever know if or how deeply the elves have meddled in the gene's mutation. Did you have a hand in... in what Geralt mentioned? The work of those human mages. Of course not. All right, let's uh, look at his notes and let's see what we notes. can learn. Gods, he spent over two centuries on this. He was the first to study Lara's gene. Volker. Hmm. Some entries about Siri. But it's here, later, that things get interesting. He actually tried to cultivate a genetic mix like Ceres, but one excluding the human line. Meaning what exactly? That I ought to be looking about for giant jars holding my siblings? Don't be foolish. Avalok never got that far. Apparently all his experiments ended in failure. You are unique. And that's why we've the wild hunt to contend with. Let's ferret on. Only for a little bit longer. Something even more interesting. I mean, 
the whole purpose of all of this is so that we can kill them, right? I mean, pretty sure that's what we're doing here. Is there any loot to be had anywhere? Anything important? Anything not important? Hey, here we go. Hmm. Elves sure know their fragrances. Someone's there. Beyond the door. Hmm. Never a standard. Might have expected a hidden portal. Okay. Someone's on the other side of the door, you say? Um. I'm not done poking around. So, before we go hacky slashy on whoever's there. I'm gonna have a peek and see if there's anything that I may have missed. Feel yeah, like, like that. Somebody's bedroom. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't let me tooth. have control. I miss things. Okay. No, I think we're good now. Made it all the way back to the front. So now we'll deal with the door and whoever might be behind it. Um... Do I just open it? Oh god. I see a bathtub. Is there a... A woman in here? Yes. Does she at least have clothes on? I've already got a sensor the last episode. Oh, thank God. How did you get in here? Hello. It's not hard. We mean you no harm. I care not at all why you're here. Get out. You. I remember you. From Tirnalia. Remarkable. I thought all elves looked alike to those of your race. If it's Avalach you seek, he's not here. I know. And no, we know where he come. is. What for? To spy on him. He tries his damnness to save you every time you do something stupid. Is that not enough? What can you possibly know about that? You'd be surprised. He's told me a great deal about you. And who are you exactly? Like what? He said you shed Lara's features. I don't see whatever it is he sees. It seems a bit like trying to drink water from a mud puddle. But Charming. I imagine that belief somehow helps him with his task. What task? Do you think he trails you everywhere for pleasure? Even I grow ill at the sight of you. It's Clearly. incredible how those like you still believe you're superior to humans, in any way. She's no human. She's a degenerate half-breed. To have no choice but to use something like that? It's humiliating. <laughs> Another word, and Real I'll charmer. What? You'll change nothing. She must do what she must. Then Avalach will finally be free of her. And what did... Okay. There is definitely something he not being so said deeply. here. Why didn't he tell me to my face? You actually believed her. She's a pompous windbag. Siri, you didn't actually believe her, did you? She's a... Personally involved in the matter, that's clear. What of it? If they despise me so, they should leave me it's be. It's jealousy. She wants Avalok, and he's spending all of his Siri. time helping you. It's what? jealousy. Do you fear I'll level this place like I did Care Morin? You didn't I level Care Morin. Well because I'd really like to now. Come 
Calm down. Calm down. The elf was right. Uh, aren't you supposed to cheer me up? You carry Lara's gene. Nothing you can do about it. Inherited her talent and her power, too. That she-elf would give up a century of her life to be you. Certainly didn't seem so. You it's jealousy! A gift, and only you can decide how to use it. What's that? People. A necklace. Laura Doran's. It's beautiful. But... Yours to wear. And if she has any objections, I will strongly oppose them. Let's go. I'm sick of this place. Of that, we can definitely agree with. I'm ready to leave here too, but something tells me we're not done yet, because there's still a golem at the door that I haven't killed. Pretty sure that's going to be a thing. Serious? Nothing? But it's right there, and it's so obvious what it is. I'm almost certain we're going to fight that thing before we can leave. Must we return to the boat right away? Something else you want to see? Not here. On Hindisfjall. In Lofoten. I met a young man, Skjall. And I'd like... He's... gone. What is it? Siri. Skjall is dead. The Wild Hunt. Everyone? No one survived? Skjall died later. Not one. You sure it was him? You'd met him? I was there. I saw his body. Will you visit his grave with me? I'd like to... to say goodbye. Absolutely. Yes. No I'll question about you. it. Thank you. Could you open a portal to Hindisfjall? I can. But... Let's go. Let's nope. do this. Come back no soon, time to waste. Let's right? go. Mm -hmm. See you. Ain't got nothing else to do that's worthwhile. Based on everything in the story, Siri is as much Geralt's daughter as she is Emperor Amir's. So, you know? Quality time. It's a good thing. Especially considering... Let's look around. Should be able to the fresh grave mound. Things. Thank you for coming. I detest graveyards, especially wandering them alone. Well then, let's go together. Let's look around together. Come on. Lasse, son of Njord. Olaf, son of Ova. Inga, daughter of Chortnir. Damn it. He's not here. Skjall has no grave. Geralt, I shan't leave until I bury him. Think, the body. What could have become of it? They didn't burn well, it. We... Save that honor for kings and heroes. Doubt they left him in the garden, too. Hmm. Okay, for real? Bastards. I remember what? this and Who you don't? It? There's a pit. They fill it with sheep taken by Blackleg. Crabs pick at their bones at night. We left his corpse in a in a ruin after we pulled his soul back to this world to question him from beyond the grave. How is it I remember this and Geralt doesn't? There he is. Ew, corpse stink.
and they didn't even get to smash first. Tragic. What are you doing? What you should have done long ago. We're burying Skial. Burying Craven? You defy the right of the elders. Be gone. Leave this place. You defile our laws. Uh. We're not bound by them. Aye, and you've clearly no respect for our customs either. Craven's place is in the ditch. What do you call him, Craven? Skjall saved your bloody lives. The Wild Hunt was after me. Had Skjall not led me away then, why they would have reduced Lofferton to ash? What would the Spectres be wanting of some lass who... I am not some lass. And anyone who so much as touches this grave will learn that the hard way. Hey, none will disturb it. Desecrating graves. Well, only for battlefield. Battlefield. Field. You said shit. Yeah, it's because of his actions that y'all are alive. We were right to come. I was deeply troubled. I have no idea. It's always good to well, find closure in grief. Name anymore. Let's go. <laughs> That was an awfully satisfied grin. So now what? Got something... No. Back to the boat. Mm. Got nowhere else to go. Why do I even have an option to go somewhere else? Like, I get it. There's the possibility that, that there are other quests to be done, but I only have two available, and they're both bugged. So, well, no, only one of them is bugged. The other one I just don't care about. It's in Kaer and, and we're in Skellige. I, yeah. Just, I, I just, no, it's not important. So back to the boat we go. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and leave this episode here before we get way too carried away. In the next one, we will be on our way to, yeah, meet Philippa and find the Sunstone. And hopefully put an end to Aradin and the Wild Hunt. Um, only time will tell, though, so be sure to s tune in and find out. Uh, and until then, be sure to let me know what you thought of this video in the comments down below. Like and subscribe so that you can catch the next one. And thanks everybody so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video.